In this video we'll show how you can use a dialog component inside a row expander of a grid. So you can see here we have a grid component that has a row expander and then we have a dialog component to find over here that uh, looks like this and our goal is to uh, open up uh, and display the grid component inside the row expander uh, when the user expands the row populate uh, the dialog with the data from the current row then uh, allow the user to make changes and then commit the changes in the dialog and then refresh the current row so um, let's check it out now so we'll go here and open up the row expander you can see there's our dialog component over there and the data has been populated uh, using the primary key of this uh, row which is customer ID number one so let's go here and change this to say Smith and then hit the submit button which will then uh, refresh the data and then close the row so let's go now and take a look at how this was achieved so first let's go back to our dialog component over here so in the dialog component we've obviously got this dialog being uh, bound to the same table that the grid is based on so you can see here the dialog is base is bound to my um, MySQL uh, customer table um, and um, the primary key of course is uh, customer ID then uh, the next thing that we've done is we've gone over to properties here and we've defined uh, several different arguments that are going to be passed from the grid with the row expander to the dialog when it's opened so we've passed in um, what ID uh, which is the ID of the, cu the customer ID of the record we'd like to edit then parent component which is the alias of the parent grid component and then row number which is the row number of the uh, row in the grid that we're currently editing so these three arguments have been defined in the dialog component then when we go back to the grid component and we look at the row expander over here so let's scroll up and look at the row expander definition uh, what we'll see is that in the row expander we specified that we'd like to open up the customer grid and uh, then we get prompted for the argument binding so the first argument is what ID and we'd like to read that from the customer ID field in the current row the second two arguments though are a little trickier so the parent component name uh, is uh, we're going to just bind that to the placeholder called grid.componentName so this is going to get replaced at runtime with the actual alias of the uh, grid and then grid.rowNumber is going to be replaced with the row number of the row that we clicked on so these three arguments are going to be set when the dialog uh, component is opened from within the row expander so then going back to the uh, dialog component now we can see that um, in the server side events in the on dialog initialize event what we've done here is we've defined a variable called ID and we're going to read the value of this ID variable from the arguments that were passed in so you can see here there's e dot arguments and we want to read the value of the what ID argument so that's the argument whose value was set by the row expander and then um, if that value is not is above zero um, then we're going to execute a server-side action so let's go and edit our server-side action and if we look at our server-side action it's uh, we're going to be populating the dialog with um, data from the table and the primary key that we'd like to populate the dialog with is going to be read from a variable there are our choices are specify now or read from a variable and the variable we would like to read the ID from is ID which is this variable that we've just set over there so this is how the dialog gets initially populated so let's pause now and look at what happens after you commit the record so we're continuing our discussion now of uh, how the dialog component can be used inside a row expander to edit the uh, current row of a uh, of a grid and now we're going to look at what happens in the after dialog validate so this is the um, 
event that takes place when the user clicks the submit button. So the first thing that we're going to do is we'd like to save the data back. So you can see here we're going to call the execute um, the save data uh, server side uh, action script which we've defined as following. We'd like to edit the record that was just submitted and use transactions. So that's the only um, action, the, the only properties that we've set on this action. Then if the data was successfully saved, then we would like to refresh the row in the parent grid and uh, close the row expander. So we're going to reference this property here called RTC flag record was saved. Now we know that this variable exists because if we go to this action there and go uh, show variables that are exposed by this action, we can see here that RTC flag record was saved is going to be either true or false. So if uh, the record was successfully saved, then we're going to refresh the parent grid. But we need to know what the alias of the parent grid is and we also need to know what the row number of the parent grid row was that we need to refresh. But as you'll recall earlier, we we put those two values into arguments uh, that were passed into this dialog when it was opened initially. So now we're going to just read the value of those two arguments which are in the e.arguments uh, property which gets passed into this event handler here. And we're going to read the parent component alias and the row number. So now we have the parent component and the row number. And now we're going to just construct the JavaScript necessary to send back um, to the parent grid uh, after the uh, uh, dialog has successfully saved the record. So uh, we're going to get here um, a pointer to the uh, parent grid. So we're going to go into the global JavaScript uh, variable which is in the window object and uh, we're going to construct the uh, so this is, for example would be the parent grid alias underbar grid object and then we're going to call it dot refresh row method to refresh uh, the particular row that we're currently editing and then we're going to close the row expander by calling the uh, row expand toggle method over there and then we're going to pass the JavaScript back but just in case this action sets some JavaScript in e.javascript we're going to just add in um, uh, our JavaScript to the existing JavaScript that was defined over here. So that completes everything that we need to do and now we can go back to the uh, grid now. So you can see now when we click on this row over here for example the argument is going to be set to 7 which is going to allow us to populate the dialog with the data for customer ID number 7. I can go there make my edit, hit the submit button. Since the submit uh, successfully saved the data, the refresh takes place and then the uh, row expander gets closed. So this video shows how you can use your own dialog components inside a row expander and have the whole thing operate completely seamlessly. Thank you very much for watching.